So I choose to be happy. Now what? Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so sorry that it's taken so long. I don't know, I kind of fell into like a quarantine depression. I really fell into TikTok, hanging out with friends, eating a lot of food, you know, just kind of, just trying to survive. So I'm so sorry it's been so long. Yesterday I saw that it's September 20th was the last time that I posted and that's like crazy. Um, so I definitely want to keep up with it and we'll see what happens. I decided to go shirtless today because, you know, why not? Self-love, body positive. You got to be happy with yourself, so might as well be happy. So here it is in all its form. Plus size. Plus size. Big and tall. Big and tall. So happiness. Happiness is such a weird concept because everyone's like, I just want to be happy. I choose happiness. I choose positivity. And you know, it's great. It's easier said than done. Um, and a lot of time it's just words. I feel like it truly has to be like a state of mind. Like you have to actively choose to be happy and you have to work towards it. At least I know I do because my mind definitely likes to easily go to the negative and likes to think about things that are not necessarily the best or could be hurtful and it's you know it's unfortunate i don't know why but it seems like at times life can definitely be a magnet for negativity maybe it's me i'm not so sure but i kind of look at people that just seem to be perpetually happy and at times you know i'm envious i'm jealous that they are able to be that way but if there's anything that I learned as I continue to get older, as the centuries pass by, is that you can't be looking into other people's windows. And it's so difficult, especially in today's world, with everyone flexing and everyone showing off who they are, what they are, what they have, what they're doing. But, you know, you really don't know what you're dealing with. You don't know what apps people use to change how they look. You don't know if people are renting the things that they're showing off. You don't know what their situation is, what their relationships are like, what their mental state is behind closed doors. And you, nor should you. And I will point this out. Everyone likes to do the excuses. It's like, well, you don't know what's happening to that person behind closed doors. You don't know. Maybe they're unhappy and they cry themselves to sleep. The harsh reality is, is most likely there are more than a handful of people out there that are just perpetually happy and everything is perfect and no matter what they do and what they touch, everything just turns to gold and is solid and they just have no issues. And ugh, it's so hard, but you know, though it is what it is. There are people like that and what else can you do? You just have to accept it. And there are other people that just have to, you know, work for it. They have to want to be happy. They have to choose happiness. They have to choose not to jump deep into negativity, into self-loathing, and into a depressive state. And it's very difficult. Um, you know, life is not easy. It's, it's hard to be happy because there's so much out there telling you that you need to change who you are and what you stand for, and this will make you happy. Whether it's a material possession you should own, a state of mind, a political affiliation, an orientation, who you should date, what you should look like, what you should be doing, a career, a status level from that career. And there's just so many opportunities for you to be brought down. And it's very unfortunate because I think everyone is necessary and everyone is important and everyone's journey matters and you know not everyone is meant to be a doctor or a lawyer not everyone is meant to be a parent not everyone is meant to be some significant cultural impact you know everyone has their reason to be here and everyone has the ability to try you know I think it's okay to try. I think people should try, you know, try to be happy. Try whatever you want. I mean, you don't need to become the top of the stars. You don't need the clouds. I think in today's world, it's like, <gasps> start a blog, monetize it, become a YouTuber, become a YouTube sensation, do this, do this, do that. Everything kind of revolves itself around money 
and you know the old adage that money doesn't make you happy and it's true because I feel like a lot of people won't get there and if you do get there maybe it won't make you feel better maybe in the interim it will but I feel like a vast majority of people they just don't get it I'm sure there's a sort of version of luck involved or maybe it's just putting in the work and a lot of people don't have that effort or maybe it's just you aren't destined for that type of moment and to have that unreasonable expectation it's difficult I feel like a lot of times I compare myself and I don't really want to um for example, growing up, there's this family that I always knew of in the community and, you know, they just seem like they're perfect. Um, both parents are in the household. All the kids are perpetually happy. Everyone is perfect. Everyone is living well. Now that everyone has grown up, all the children seem to have gone off and done wonderful things on their own, good careers. Some have gotten married and started families. And it's like, gosh, like, why do they deserve such luck? and such happiness and success. It's like, we all started on the same even footing, but for whatever reason, you guys just keep getting the sun shined on you and I keep getting storm clouds. And, you know, it's a very toxic way of thinking because I feel that everyone probably has that somewhat of an insecurity and me looking at the social channels that are curated by these people to only show the good is only doing things to harm me. And it does nothing for me. You know, I can spend hours looking at the social channels of these people and regretting or getting angry or wanting things for myself. It doesn't affect them. They're gonna continue doing what they wanna do and it's sure as heck not gonna benefit me. And it's just such a toxic mindset that it does nothing but hurt. You know, it makes me lower myself. Why should I demean myself and hold myself down and say that I'm not good enough because I don't have this item or I didn't have this life experience yet or I didn't go on this vacation. It's so toxic and it's so wrong because, you know, in many ways, Maybe they want something that I have. Maybe they themselves have someone that they hold to a certain standard and they're like, gosh, I wish I could meet that, but they can't. Um, and it's just a continuous, vicious cycle of envy and wanting what other people have. And it does nothing except hurt your feelings. And gosh, it's just so, it's just so hard. So for me, I feel like I will always have to actively work on choosing happiness and choosing me and choosing to not let the stressors impact me. I don't know why I'm a, I'm kind of a social person. I like to talk to people. I like to get to know people. But then the problem for me is I don't know how to shut that off and I just immediately delve deeper into it and overly involve myself and want to be there for people. And I think, at least from my research, it definitely comes from a place of low self-worth and not necessarily holding yourself in high regard and high self-esteem because you know you should be proud of yourself you're here you have a chance and it doesn't necessarily have to be you have that chance to um that's it this is your chance you need to create that amazing business and become financially free and become that millionaire or that success story you know Waking up every day is a success story. If for you waking up every day and being able to get through another day is a sex, is a success story, then I applaud you. I applaud you because it's difficult. And you don't know what people's troubles are. And especially during this time, it's even more difficult. And, you know, just getting through the day and being able to turn out a smile is an achievement in my book. You know, there's lots of people during this pandemic that have learned skills and they push it down people's throats and say, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you wasted your time, you didn't do this. And what is that achieving for people? The people that wanted to learn skills and chose to do it, did it. The people that stayed in sweatpants all day and facilitated between sleeping all day to going on their couch to being tired, they did that. You know, you can't just because you function on a certain wavelength doesn't mean that other people are going to as well. And that's the reality of the situation. Um, 
But that being said, you know, happiness is such a big concept and at times you wonder how real it is. You know, what exactly does happiness mean and what exactly can it mean for you? And what is the best way to make it work for you? Um, happiness for you is not happiness for me and happiness for me is not happiness for them. Each person has their own idea of what works for them and each idea is valid and right. And I just hope that people realize how incredibly short life is and how time just flies shockingly fast you know it's amazing when i look back in high school time stood still in college time stood still the minute you graduate and are in the real world it's just moving at light speed and it's shocking it's like when did this happen when did these years go to buy these memories these adventures and it's like you're on autopilot through all this time and it's it's very interesting how being in like that college or school mindset it kind of is like a frozen time period but yet you're still growing and developing and maturing um, but once you're out in the real world, it's like, wow, where did these years go by? So I just, I know for me, my goal is to try to work on happiness and to try to find a reason to smile and to continue. I feel for me, I can provide happiness and I like happiness, but I think for me to be able to joyfully provide it and live it, I have to be able to see it and choose it within myself. So yeah, lots of work to be done. Um, why am I shirtless? Why not? I'm fat. I've always been, I fluctuated. Um, and you know what? It's a real body. I'm overweight. People would say I'm obese, and that is a choice. Um, but while within that choice, I still choose to be happy and I choose to be positive about it and live it. You know, I don't need to be a hermit. I don't need to be locked away and in shame eating. I should be happily eating on the street because it's my right and happily going out and enjoying myself and dressing in what I want and having the experience that I want. And, being bigger has absolutely nothing to do with it. Um, so yeah, that's why I decided to be shirtless. Maybe I'll continue to make these <laughs> videos like this where I just randomly talk on a subject. So that being said, that's a little tidbit on happiness. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it's about. I don't really care. I wanted to talk about it. And thank you guys as always for being there. Have a great day.